In this video, we discuss how you can evaluate your use of the hazardous substance calculator. Two steps we suggest you take after using the calculator are reflect and predict. First, by reflect we mean take a step back and look at where the calculator fits into your wider approach to hazardous substances. An effective approach involves knowing what you've got, knowing the risks and managing the risks. The calculator is a tool to help you work through those steps. So, after you've used it, ask yourself a couple of questions. Do I know what I've got? Is my inventory accurate and complete? There may be substances you have forgotten about or which are used infrequently. As well, hazardous waste must be in your inventory. Used oil would be an example. Remember, the inventory is not a daily calculation of quantities held. Instead, it shows the maximum quantity of each hazardous substance likely to be at each workplace. Do you know the risks? Are you using the inventory and safety data sheets to learn everything you need to know about each substance you work with? Does everything in the inventory need to be there? Do you have substances that you're not actually using which you could dispose of appropriately? Can some chemicals be replaced with others that are lower risk and require fewer controls? Are you managing the risks? When you use the calculator, it created a list of controls that you need to have in place. Ask yourself, are the controls in place? Are they compliant with regulation? And do staff have training and instruction that they need? The second evaluation step is predict. By this, we mean look forward and figure out when you will need to use the calculator again. Firstly, you may need more than one inventory. You must create one inventory for each work site you manage or control. You can't have one inventory for your whole business if it has multiple sites. So if you have more than one site or you open a new site, that's one reason to return to the calculator. Also, you may need to update your inventory. If you add or remove substances in the workplace, you'll need to use the calculator again. Enter your PIN to update your existing inventory. If the maximum amount of substances likely to be at your workplace changes, you need to edit those substances and make that change. You then need to check if that change triggers new controls. You can also experiment with the calculator to find ways to reduce compliance costs, as well as lowering risks. Try entering different amounts for your substances. You'll find in some cases that a smaller quantity requires fewer controls. You may find there are additional measures you can take. Some things that may trigger a review include the following. A significant change to a safety data sheet or to amounts and storage locations. Any notifiable event in the workplace involving a relevant hazardous substance. Or if a worker identifies that a control is not working through the business engagement and participation practices.